dalam rencana ini pun ada sebut ada satu parti ada satu parti dalam pakatan pembangkang yang mau satu republik siapa parti itu dan kalau kita mau tanya siapa apa parti yang ada buat ada record anti roti ya amno kan benar tapi ini hasutan ini the poison ini racun kenapa boleh digunakan so media mass media compromise all because of para crisis sebab so, bila saya ada cadang bahawa masa telah sampai untuk Perdana Menteri Najib patutlah satu mesyuarat ada satu perjumpaan kemuncak jumpa dengan pemimpin-pemimpin parti-parti pakatan rakyat untuk cari satu penyelesaian kepada krisis perak oleh kerana ini bukan lagi satu krisis perak inilah satu krisis Malaysia dan kompetitiviti kita kesanggupan kita untuk menjadi satu negara yang boleh ada high income pun compromise sebab itu tetapi Najib kata tanpa syarat kita rela tanpa syarat oleh kerana kita mau selesai krisis di Perak oleh kerana krisis di Perak sudah menjadi krisis legitimasi demokrasi Perdana Menteri Negeri di Malaysia dia kata tak mau kerajaan campuran siapa mau kerajaan campuran dengan kamu kita tak pernah saya tak pernah sebut kerajaan campuran tetapi untuk selesai masalah krisis di negeri Perak esok pemimpin-pemimpin pakatan rakyat akan bermesyuarat dan kita akan bincang bincang bagaimana perdan kita Bagaimana kita boleh menyelesaikan menyelesaikan krisis Perak sebenarnya selepas tujuh hari bulan Mei dia yang informi apa ke seven of May the seven day of informi where public credibility of UMNO and Barisan Nasional went to a lowest depth. He want to think of how to make it worse. How to make it worse for UMNO and Barisan Nasional? It's not easy to think of, you know. <laughs> you know, they have a power grab on the 6th of February. Credibility collapse. May the 7th went further down. How to make it worse? But they could do it on the 12th of May, Court of Appeal. Court of Appeal. Within two and a half hours, Zambri, we had a fantastic landmark judgment. On Monday, Justice Abdul Aziz Abdul Rahim, a great judicial luminary has emerged in our country. A landmark constitutional case. But then, Zamri, Zamri, three in one Zamri. Appeal. And within two and a half hours, a hearing was held. Today, Niza, our Menteri Besar appeal against the court, the single judge court of appeal, stay order to discharge the state order. When is the hearing? Monday. Five days for for Pakatan Rakyat. Five days for Zamri. Three hours. That's why I also today in my blog I ask the question: Can the people of Malaysia expect justice from a judiciary when we have a chief justice who is an amno chief justice? So all these institutions, public credibility is on the new low. You can't go on like that. We are. We want. People to, to restore public confidence in the judiciary, in the royalty, in the monarchy. We are in. We have never have entertained any idea of opposing the royal. So we are in full support of the system of constitutional monarchy. Hundred percent we support. But that doesn't mean that we must blindly. Uh, 
agree with everything that is done by the royalty. For instance, the judgment on Monday that the rulers can appoint the Mantrabasa, but they have no right to dismiss the Mantrabasa. That is the law. We stand by it. And to say that here we are the hacker, I think it is these people who are undermining public confidence in the monarchy. And therefore, I think what's important, finally, what is the message? What is the future? We go beyond, beyond May 13, put it behind us. March the 8th is the beginning of a new Malaysia. A new Malaysia where we see Pakatan Rakyat is more Malaysian than Barisan National. Pakatan Rakyat has more legitimacy than Barisan National. And that's why they're not going to be actually better. They know they are illegitimate. Zamri today went back to the military to South office, doubly illegitimate. Doubly illegitimate. Because he was already illegitimate on March, on February the 6th, an illegal power grab. On Monday, the High Court declared him unlawful. That why AB is the lawful military bazaar. Making him doubly illegitimate. He has got a state. The state of what? What does it mean? A state to stop YAB Nizar from regaining, performing his lawful duties as Mantra Basar. It is not a state, not a license for the illegal Mantra Basar Zamri to get crashed, to reoccupy the envy's office in the SUK. Itu lah bukan ertinya dan tujuannya itu state on the or it will become totally ridiculous and completely unacceptable. So, finally, I think we want to send a clear message. We are prepared to meet. I am prepared to meet with Najib, but we want him to understand that para crisis is no more concerning para. It concerns the whole country, all institutions, whether we go forward or become a failed state. Or we go back to become a failed state. They know. Mana ada negara dan polis masuk. They want to learn the language. So lain daripada semacam Afrika, Zimbabwe. Failed state. Are we going to become a failed state? Is Prime Minister Najib going to become a Prime Minister of a failed state? In that case, he will be the last Amno Prime Minister. Thank you.